So some may be thinking, how hard is it to hold a clarinet correctly? Well, apparently these pictures I'm about to show you make it very clear that it is difficult to hold. So if you are interested in playing clarinet, let me at least tell you how you should hold the clarinet as opposed to what you might Google and see online. Let's go ahead and jump right on in, shall we? So I'm clearly just, I'm going to search up here in my bar. I'm just gonna put worst clarinet photos. <laughs> let's see what that gets us. Okay, so I'm curious, let's see. 10 worst clarinet stock photos. We're gonna go through these. I guarantee you these are gonna be perfect. Uh, <laughs> okay, so looking at this first picture, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. One might not, this is actually a little more complicated for this one. So looking up here, it's up at the very top with what we call the mouthpiece. So with this, the main issue is the fact that it looks like the mouthpiece is on backwards and there is no ligature. So what I mean by that as a learning moment, I have mine right here. So when you hold a clarinet out, it's like, She's trying to do the, the Benny Goodman or something. But holding the clarinet out, you have this, which is the ligature, which isn't even in this photo, as you can see. And then on top of that, so taking this off, you can see that my mouthpiece faces forward, right? And the flat part of the mouthpiece is on the back side. Well, if you see how she's holding it up, it's as if the mouthpiece is turned backwards and she's holding it up like this. So there are two things clearly wrong with this photo right off the bat. So never hold your clarinet like that because you're not gonna get a sound out very well. Quick random fact actually is that playing clarinet used to actually be like this where the mouthpiece was turned like so. I'm not gonna get into that. That's outside the scope of this video. Let's go ahead and look at our next victim. Oh yes, so this one is the probably, I would argue, the most common of all of the mistakes when looking at clarinet pictures. So with the issue with this one is that the hands are backwards. So currently in the photo with the right hand, the right hand is on the top and then the left hand is on the bottom. It's the other way around, which makes sense, right? Because you have buttons down here that are for your pinky if your right hand is down here and then you have this cluster of buttons over here how on earth are you supposed to play like that just doesn't make sense it's not intuitive at all and same thing with these side keys at the top how in the world are you supposed to do that with your right hand so this is the correct way to hold the clarinet left on top right on bottom next Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, same thing actually. So if you can tell in this picture, right hand is on the bottom and they're actually not even holding it nearly correctly. They're actually holding it by the keys at the bottom. Never want to do that because you can actually bend the keys at the bottom for if you do that too long or, you know, if you're just not careful in general, depending on how you're pressing them. Yeah, you don't want to hold by these because you're going to mess up the mechanism uh, with the springs and everything. Let's see here. It also looks like the ligature is on backwards a little bit. 90% of the time, whenever you have a clarinet ligature, mine's on the front, so it's not a good example. The screws always go on the right side. 90, 95% of the time. There are the occasional ligatures where the screw is on the left, but as long as you're always putting it on to where the screw is on the right side, you're good. Let's see here, this next photo. Oh, here's here's a true jazzy Benny Goodman picture. Leaning it all the way to the back like that. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Except, as you can see, same issue. Left hand on top, right hand on bottom, please. That's how you are supposed to hold the clarinet. I don't understand why this is so complicated. And then we're at... <laughs> I honestly can't get over this. So there are two things wrong with this one. Obviously the same thing, right hands on top, right? But what we just talked about with the ligature, if you look really closely, ligature is on the left side, the screws are. 
it should be turned around. So essentially all you would need to do is take it off, flip it over, kind of um, right side up, as you might say. Okay, so all sorts of things wrong with this picture, but let's focus on the clarinet first of all. <laughs> I am not meaning to throw shade, actually I really was. So with this one there are a couple of other things that I'd like to touch on. So the left hand is not placed correctly. She has her fingers on top of this key at the very top. We don't hold it there, we always keep our fingers over the tone holes right here. So that's always important. We roll our finger up to hit these keys up here for you aspiring clarinetists and if you're not doing that right now, get out of the habit of picking your finger up and pressing these keys because no, 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 no. And then I also want to point out that her right hand is too high. It looks like she has her finger on that key, which for clarinets, it's only the open tone holes, right? It doesn't make sense to have this here. When you press this, it automatically brings that, that tone hole shut. Um, so that's another thing that's wrong. But then also whenever we're playing, just another little fact if you want to learn about clarinet is we don't puff our cheeks. Uh, that's a big no-no as far as technique goes with our embouchure and playing with our air. So we always want to keep our, our cheeks put in even when we're blowing air through the horn. I'm not going. And as you can even just hear, I hope anyway, the air speed is much stronger when you don't puff your cheeks. It's more focused, and that's one of the main reasons why we do that. Moving on to this next picture. Same culprit, you guys. I don't know how else to say it. Right hand is on top, left is on bottom. We don't do that. And let's see here. Same thing with this one. I'm telling you, it's the most common mistake. Same thing here, mouthpiece looks like it's on backwards, uh, hands nowhere near even close, although it kind of looks like a stage photo. I don't think this is one that's, I don't know if it's supposed to be taken seriously. Hopefully with you being dressed up like a performer and having a grand piano or baby grand piano behind you rather, hopefully if you're about to perform that you're holding it right, I don't know. And then this one brings up a new thing. So yes, hands are at least Left on top, right on bottom, right? So give credit where you can. A uh, couple of things that I wanna to touch on with this is the gloves. Never play with gloves. You actually can't play with gloves. And the reason why is because you have to have these tone holes closed correctly and all the way or you're not gonna get a sound out. And so gloves actually hinder us closing our tone holes correctly. Uh, and then if you look at her right hand, I wanted to point this out because First of all, her pinky looks like it is down on this, which isn't even a key. Like, come on, it's not even a key. Like, who are these pictures for? Why would you make pictures for this? I, I really hope it's not for like a clarinet studio or, or some type of promotional website for clarinet, but then it's like, well, hopefully she doesn't play clarinet because she can't hold it correctly. So I just, I don't understand why these photos exist. But I wanted to point out if you see her pinky is super hooked, like it's curved really badly and you're pushing down. I did want to mention that hand positioning is super important on clarinet and that could be a whole other video. But uh, we essentially want our, our hands to kind of be curved like this over the clarinet and they should always remain curved when we play and never flat or press down like this. That, that's a big technical no-no. It's curved wrist back. Okay, so it looks like that was all from this. I kinda wanna go and see just maybe a couple of other pictures. What if I just go to images up here? Okay, so some that we already saw that were terrible. Oh, Nancy. Nancy Grace, oh my goodness, sweetheart. This is, oh my gosh, I've never seen one this bad. This is crazy. It's sideways. I mean, it is, it's completely sideways. There's no fixing that. There's no fixing that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch that. Oh my goodness. So I somehow stumbled across this photo. And <laughs> I, it is obviously supposed to be satirical. So I, I don't expect anyone to have really done this, although I am sure there are people out there who have done this. I'm not gonna say it's never happened before. But yeah, don't ever put your clarinet around water. That's just 
a really bad idea. Water damage on clarinet can be so tragic and uh, oftentimes can be irreparable or very expensive to repair. Can definitely mess up the finishing on your keys even. So gold keys, gold plated keys are actually really resistant to tarnish. However, they can still be water damaged. So you can have these beautiful gold plated keys that don't get tarnished as easily as silver plated like this one, but the water can still mess them up. So you don't want that and then your pads and your corks on your clarinet can also be ruined from water. I mean, even just water in the air with humidity can really, really make a big difference on those as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I found another one that I have seen before. So if you look at this cute little girl, we're gonna call her Bailey. So Bailey here has the clarinet, at least with the mouthpiece correctly and the right direction and everything. However, you never, ever hold your clarinet in the back like this with your hand. I don't know why you would do that because you need your hand on the front of the horn right here to play it, but don't ever do that. I'm telling you, I have seen these thumb rests break off so easily, so many times, even on my own horn it's happened. I remember my very first clarinet, I was holding it, it wasn't because I was holding it by the thumb rest, but I ended up, the bottom half came off of it. When I turned around really sharply, it just flew off and my thumb rest broke off of it. And ever since then, I always had issues um, with that clarinet in particular because the screws actually ended up stripping. So it, it was really hard to keep the screws in because it was completely stripped out. So yeah, big issue with that. So never hold your clarinet like this. Very susceptible to being dropped whenever you do this. Let's see here, what other good things? Okay, so this is a very small thing. Uh, definitely not as terrible. So Rob here, this is what I mentioned just a minute ago. So if you look at his left hand right here, his left hand, we don't want to smush again. We don't press down flat like this. Our, our fingers should always be curved. And the reason why is one, it helps cover the tone holes better. When you press these down really hard, correctly. Circles should go around the center of your fingerprint essentially. So when you lift them up, they should be in the center of your fingers, which can be done when you're pushing them down like this too, but it's also adding unneeded and unwanted pressure to your joints right here. So you don't want that to happen either because people who play clarinet for a long time, I've been playing for about 16 years now, you do not want to be doing something or be in a bad habit where you're going to end up long term hurting yourself. That's why holding the clarinet is so important though because it can really mess up your joints over a while and that's the main reason why I wanted to do this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very simple and covering some very fundamental things when holding the clarinet. Sometimes these rudimentary things, even when I still have students coming in, I always, I don't care what level you are, First lesson, I always want to see you put your clarinet together. I always, almost always see things not done correctly, even just the direction and everything like that. So I might do a video coming up on putting the clarinet together. If you are new to playing clarinet, please comment below. Let me know if you learned anything new or things that you might want to learn. I'd love to put content out there. I want this new channel to be focused on uh, tutorials, reviews. I have some really fun reviews coming up. I actually bought a new barrel. I am going to try out a fat boy barrel and I'm just kind of not very pleased with the MOBA barrel right now and I made a video on my previous channel comparing my MOBA barrel to my regular Selmer barrel and so I'm looking at doing a comparison video between the MOBA and the fat boy which I think will be interesting. And then I also uh, do like quick little video, fun video clips of me playing on this channel and everything. I just really want it to be interactive and engaging and fun. I love meeting new people and I just want to really just do this for fun. If you stop by, thank you so much. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to know whenever I put a new video up. And I would love to have you support my channel and have you be a part of my channel. So thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.